Oh, okie dokie folks, a couple of weeks ago I made a video that is right here talking about controversial YouTubers and within that video I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a PetTuber edition, which I got quite a few comments, I don't know, like five or six, but my videos really, uh, my videos don't get that many comments. So five or six commenters, congratulations, we are making that video today. But before we get into this video, I believe it's important to really run down the definition, or at least my personal definition, of what a pet tuber is. Now, when we're talking about pet tubers, I'm not trying to state it as a derogatory sense, like it has come out and kind of universally, people kind of, especially in the reptile hobby, people talk down as people that make reptile content on YouTuber as pet tubers. Yeah, we saw, we saw Past Dakota make that video. I know, it was dumb. Let's just move on. Your boy, your boy's learned a thing or two, and that well, thing or two was that your boy back then was stupid. That's all I gotta say about that nonsense. Okay, so personally for me, I define a pet tuber as someone that makes video style content in the context of just primarily or solely of their pets. Whether that be any type of fashion, you know, dogs, birds, cats, fish, reptiles, lizards, snakes, anything like that that goes revolves around their con idea about their pets and solely their pets. This is why I don't believe like channels such as Brian Barcheck, uh, Kevin McCurley, Nerd, things like that. I don't believe they are solely going around their pets. They're mostly about breeding lots and I kind of contend them into a separate category than the pet tubers. Big question is, which category does Dakota fall upon? Drop a comment in the comment section. Yes, in this video we are not talking about the Justin Cabellicas or the R&B reptiles. We are talking about the people that like to make reptile styled content surrounding their pet reptiles. Let's get into it. I tried to do five, but to be honest with you guys, I don't watch that much reptile content being that making reptile content is my full time job. We're going to kick things off with number five, Reptilia Addis. Reptilian Addis? One of those things. Well, there, Reptilian Addis and I had a pretty similar stuff going on. He was breeding crocodile sinks and having crocodile sinks. I was breeding crocodile sinks, having crocodile sinks. He's doing toke geckos. I'm doing toke geckos. He's got crested geckos. I got crested geckos. It was like a big old mashup, except he is a much larger platform and all in all, probably just a better person than I am. Biggest content, man. He does these amazing bioact enclosures for all of his animals. Every one of his setups look really, really nice, really sweet. Uh, of course, he's got Toke Gecko content. Your boy loves Toke Gecko content. I can't get enough of Toke Geckos. And someone that is put in, willing to put in the time to tame down a Toke Gecko and then make footage of it. That's a thumbs up in my book, boys and girls. Recently, Reptilian Addis has gotten some, I hope I'm saying it right. If I'm not saying it right, man, I'm so sorry. If you happen to stumble across this video, I apologize. Uh, he's recently acquired some reptiles that I am really jealous of. Uh, number one, the Chinese crocodile lizard, uh, the green tree monitor, and he's had some satanic leaf geckos. I don't know if he's had them for a while or they're a little bit more recent, but those are some species I've always wanted to get into. Just either haven't had the time or the finances to get into them, but especially that Chinese crocodile lizard, man, that was a good buy right there, man. That's definitely an animal that I'm interested in getting in the future. Bottom line, cool dude, cool reptiles, good guy, good YouTuber, next one. Moving on this list, let's get down to it. Number four, Catalia. I hope I'm saying that right too. I, I'm probably gonna mess up everyone's names and then just feel like a bad person when I upload this video, let's be honest with ourselves. <laughs> I enjoy Catalina's content for one reason and one reason only. The fact that she not only films content around her reptiles, but also around her farm animals. Now, I'm a bit of a new subscriber to uh, Catalina. I haven't known her for so long. I, I One of her videos got recommended in my feed and I watched it and I thought it was really cool. There was one where she's building an entire reptile facility in her backyard, which I think is really awesome. It's something that I am interested in doing, especially once I move out of here, I'm gonna need a new building. Can't take that one with me, so I'll have to figure out how to build one from scratch if we can't find like a barn or something to refurbish into a reptile building. So that was really cool seeing. Uh, not only that, I really enjoy seeing the reptile and farm life duo combined into one channel. That's something, again, I'm interested in doing is exotic farming. Uh, nothing much like she does. She has a lot of chickens, goats, things like that. We'll have goats and chickens, but I'm thinking of getting a lot more into like the rias, ostriches, emus, uh, things like that, peacocks, just a bunch of crazy stuff that I want on my land than the ranch that we're gonna buy. And this is a pretty good inspiration seeing like how I can set that up. So that's the main reason why I enjoy her content. You guys can say what you want to say about Catalia, but here's the thing. I honestly think your opinion is invalid, redacted, not important if you guys don't have a reptile YouTube video out there stating your dream animal build that you actually pulled off. If you haven't done that, I don't think you can say Jack. That is just my opinion on the matter. And real quick guys, before we get in the top a hand. If you can do me a huge favor, head down there, hit that like button and that subscribe button for me on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And boy, 
do I want that silver play button? We're gonna put it right on top of the toke set. If I ever do get it, it's gonna be awesome. You can do your part today by hitting that sub button. Also, while I'm shouting stuff out, if you guys want me to do another video on pet tubers that I actually can't stand, because there are a few of those that I just really, no matter what, just dislike wholeheartedly, you can put a comment down there in the comment section and I'll do a video on that. Let's get into the next one. But moving on down this list, let's get into it. Number three, Tyler Nolan. I have a tough one. I don't know if it belongs in this category. I mean, I kind of glump, glump, glump. I kind of clump these guys together as like venom tubers, which is like just venomous pet tubing, which is kind of the same thing. So wouldn't it be in the same category? Is it different? I, I don't know. Leave a comment down there. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's not, but I'm putting them on the list. Now, how could I not like Tyler Nolan's content? We're like pretty much the same guy, except he just kind of looks like an upgraded version of me. Uh, longer hair, bigger plugs, more tattoos. He's everything that I'm not. I got a bit of a better beard, but then I just to shave it so there's that tidbit of information I guess. Tyler Nolan has a very impressive collection of venomous reptiles. My favorite being, of course, the bush vipers. I love vipers. Uh, Gaboon vipers, bush vipers. He's got some awesome rattlesnakes. And of course, macaws, dude. I love macaws. Again, it's one of those things where I love when people clump things together. He's got exotic birds and exotic reptiles, and he puts them into one content-packed video or channel. Those are the stuff I enjoy watching. Can you guys hear how squeaky this chair is? How, like, unbelievably squeaky it is? You guys wonder why I don't make sitting down videos anymore? I wonder why. It can't be because this chair is so, so squeaky. Nolan's a pretty controversial piece. I guess he probably should have gone in the other video instead of this video, but I'm doing it right now. Uh, he's got some controversial, of course, the free handling. There's a cobra bite. There's, um, well, there's quite a few things. I, I think free handling venomous reptiles is the biggest thing people have a problem with. Uh, I'm in the opinion of that. If it's your reptile, you can kind of do what you want. He's a trained professional. It's I don't know, it, it's like, where's the line on this stuff? So like, can I not handle my Argus monitors or my large tegu, so that's a large animal that can inflict damage? Because if someone else mimics me, that means that they can't and they'll get hurt, so like, I can't do any, like, do, is it, even if I have like, what do you, you know, the decades or years and years and years of experience, I don't know how long he's been doing and have all the proper stuff, can I not showcase that experience and do these things because other people might take that the wrong way. Like, do we all have to be treated ourselves or showcase ourselves at a beginner level because in the fear of like, someone's gonna mimic us? Or can we bring it up to the individual person to understand like, oh, hey, that guy's got a lot of experience. I've got none. I probably shouldn't do that. Or, I don't know. Those are just some thoughts that I have in my head. But yeah, I, I believe if it's his snake and he has the experience and he has the proper stuff, the permits that's like, gone through the proper channels, I think he can do whatever he wants to with his snake. And down this list now, we only have a couple more to talk about, and that's gonna bring us to number two, Serpa Design. I mean, how could you not love a Serpa Design video? I don't know why this is so, like, high. It makes me feel like I'm short. Trust me, guys, I'm not short. Hang on, let me... Yeah, there we go. No, I'm not sure. Now that we only have three minutes of video left, let's put this in the right right frame. Good job, Dakota. Great production value. I don't know how you couldn't like Serpa Design. The, 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 the incredible enclosures this guy builds, are, they're just magnificent. I wish I could do that. I wish I had the tools. I wish I had the time. I wish I had the energy to make these designs, but I can't. So I'm just going to live vicariously through Serpa Designs in his amazing enclosures. Of course, over here at DBC Exotics, we do some homemade bioactive vibs. There's one actually right behind me. We got this rad little chameleon build going on. Uh, we do some stuff, things like that. Definitely not on the level of Serpa design, but I take inspiration from him trying to do better with my enclosures. And even my pets, I want to give them a cooler, more naturalistic, just impressive looking vivarium. He's definitely a huge inspiration on how I'm able to obtain that. One day I'll try to mimic one of his enclosures, really go all out on one. I got to pick just the right reptile. It can't be too big, but it can't be too small either. It needs to be like my perfect pet and just make an absolutely incredible enclosure for it. Really get pulling out all the stops like he does and just making an impressive vivarium because man, and literally, this guy knocks that home runs every single time. He does not make a mediocre enclosure. Every one that he makes is just fantastic. All right, folks, getting down to the last contender on this list. The it's not. I didn't rank them, so it's not like this is my favorite. I just decided to choose five YouTubers to talk about. Uh, that's gonna bring us to number one, Snake Discovery. Oh, so, you know what? I don't know if I should put Snake Discovery on this list because she didn't invite me to the reptile build-off. And honestly, 
Honestly, I am just hurt by this. Why Snake Discovery? Why didn't I get invited to the build-off? Is it because I don't have a big following? I only got a couple thousand? I guess I got 12,000 subs. I only have 12,000 subs now. Did, did I not make it? Am I not good enough? Do you not see this? This looks pretty cool. I could have built this for you, Snake Discovery. You could have had one of these bad boys, but no. No, you just pushed him on the side. No, Dakota, you can't come. Not like you asked or anything or even realized that the reptile built up with this thing until you saw the live stream about it, but no, no, no. You're just not good enough, Dakota. That hurts right here. Sorry, I'm trying to contemplate if I should like go any further or if I should just leave it at that. I think that either one would be pretty funny, but... <laughs> Discovery, by far one of the most wholesome YouTubers there is about reptile content. Uh, she makes a, a very big, she's pretty diverse when it comes to the content she makes. A lot of it's educational. She has some breeder content, which kind of puts me on the edge as if she's like a pet tuber or a reptile YouTuber. Not that like... It really matters, but um, yeah, I like her videos. I like the Rex video. I enjoy Rex. I've always wanted to get an American alligator. As soon as I move, that's gonna be my first purchase is getting a baby American alligator. Uh, it's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna really enjoy it. We've got the setup all laid out. It's gonna be a massive home build, dude. It's gonna be awesome. Um, but yeah, Snake Discovery. I don't know what too much else to say. Wholesome person, great content. Uh, what, the second biggest Reptile YouTuber, I believe. I think it's Brian Barshak with 3 million, but I think she has like 2 point something. So like, it's, it's funny to see like the neck and neck, you know, they're pretty much head to head, but their content is so diverse and so different from each other that it's like literally opposite ends of the spectrum. And I think that is a pretty interesting tidbit of information that you have now, or you probably already knew about because I can't be original with my content. Let's end the video. Alrighty folks, and there you have it. Five reptile pet tubing YouTubers that you didn't know Dakota liked, or wh however, I, um, whatever I, I titled this video. Thank you so much for coming uh, this beautiful journey. Uh, DBCB Exotics, that's a chameleon, that's a gecko. I'm out of here, goodbye. Subscribe to the YouTube channel.